Hi guys, I'm Luke. And I'm Amanda. We are the founders of Glimp. And this is our van build series. This is our 2018 V-Dub Crafter that we're going to turn into our new motorhome. So, our Crafter? It's a 2018 medium wheel base that we are going to try and turn into a motorhome. We're not going to try, we're going to turn it into a motorhome. And we want to turn this into a four berth. So it's us two and our two daughters. Um, so we really, really need to have some sleeping space for them. So there's a few plans that we'll keep, keep to ourselves for the next videos to come. But we need to have a toilet and shower, two bunks, a bed for us, a kitchen unit, and some seats here for some passenger seats. He so, tells me that it hasn't been done before and I'm starting to now realize probably why. Well, our layout that I want to do, I haven't seen done before. So it's going to be really interesting to see if we can pull it off, especially with trying to get all the parts and stuff that we need over the next sort of 12 weeks, I guess, that we've got to, to put this together before we want to go skiing. You don't believe we can do it, do you? <laughs> what are we going to do today? So today is the first day really that we can actually do anything on the van. We only got the van yesterday, so we cleaned it all yesterday. We did give it a bit of a clean yesterday, so here's a montage showing that. ripping out what uh, we don't need because this van actually was a courier vehicle so um, we certainly don't need this bulkhead here so we're going to take out the bulkhead um, we're also going to take out the floor which is uh, rather worn and uh, got spills and things all over it and um, well it was used for like a beer delivery vehicle yeah so yeah. it smells like a nightclub in here a little bit it does it smells like a nightclub the other things that we're going to take out are these uh gray panels and basically take it back to the metal and see how, what we're dealing with you still don't believe do you we'll see first things first gonna take the bulkhead off it's pretty straightforward just gotta undo each of these screws all the way around um, it's just a, a hex bolt so you can just take it off with an impact driver the the order in that you really should do it in is take these grab handles off first you keep these for later though because you just, i'm going to put them back on because they're quite handy to have and uh, they're not actually attached to this but they just get in the way when when you want to take the bulkhead off it's going to be pretty heavy i'm going to leave the top row uh, until last so we can just sort of slowly lift it down and, and get it out but yeah let's just let's just go for it So what's next? The floor. So we've got to take off all these tie down bolts and then hopefully the floor will just lift off and we can chuck it away. Yep. 
with the hammer. A bit of grinding and a bit of hammer. That one was stuck. But now all of the bolts are out of the floor and we should be able to lift it out. Okay, let's see what's under here. It's stuck down there. On there. Floor's all clean, bulkhead's off, it looks great. Next, we're doing the weigh-in. We'll see how much weight we have to start with, and that'll give us how much weight we have to play with. So let's get on to that next. to them? Yeah, so we, we're doing this the cheap way. We've got one set of scales which is able to weigh up to 15, it can weigh up to 1500 kg per tire. So we're going to do each one individually. There's a, a 19 mil bit of plywood underneath each other tire which so means we're on a flat and level surface and we're going to see what we weigh. We have got. Okay, on second thoughts, we're going to weigh it with Luke out of the car because we don't need to add him in there. Okay. So, oh look, Lasha. 627. Under the other three wheels, we've got these bits of plywood which are the same width as the scales so that it is flat and even and then you basically just add them all together you can do the same with um, caravans and then you add the tow ball weight as well okay second one okay now just uh, sorry again it's 704 one is 416. Yep. So we're back after the weigh-in and we have crunched the numbers and used an actual calculator this time and uh, so we'll pop up on the screen here what the individual wheels weighed and that equaled how much Luke? 2186 kgs so it looks quite good that's actually under the the tier um, that's reported from Volkswagen uh, and that includes 75 litres of diesel which is helpful for our payload so this particular van can have a maximum um, GVM of 3500 kgs so it leaves us with 1000 
314 kilos to play with. Now that needs to include our fit out, it needs to include our people weight, and it also needs to include our water um, once when the water is full. So what we currently work out that we've got for our fit out is about 560 kilos. Now that is a rough estimate. Obviously we haven't worked that out properly until we actually build the van. Um, but once we do, we hope it's around that level. That's worked out on all the reported weights of everything that we're buying to put in it. So those will obviously fluctuate a little bit, but we hope it'll be around that level. Anything under 600 is probably going to be okay. And if we change things and add things, um, then, and you know, they're, they're just estimates. Yeah. So. And there's about 200 kgs for people because it's us two and two little ones. Uh, but I think for certification, we have to allow for 80 kgs per person, but we'll worry about that later down the track. And then with the water, there'll be a, roughly 100 litres of water. So we've used 100 kgs for that. So that gives us about 450 kgs of extra weight that we can bring with us. So that's like food, clothing, any gear that we want to run. Um, it doesn't, I've just realized that payload doesn't include the spare wheel carrier that we'll want to put on. So that's probably another 20 kgs. Mm -hmm. So there's, there's some things to play with there, but it, it allows us at least to bring some food. Yeah, and some clothes, <laughs> which would be quite nice. And still be legal, yeah. which is the ultimate game, I think. That's right, yeah. yeah. So in the next video, what we're gonna run through is the actual fit out and how we plan to, to build this out and fit everything in that we need to. And turn this medium wheelbase into a four berth and uh, be underweight as well. So I think it could be interesting. We won't have much storage to bring any of those clothes anyway, so. We still don't believe. <laughs> we will. We'll... Still don't believe. Unbelievable. <laughs> so if you liked this video and you want to watch the rest of this series where we turn this van into a full birth motorhome, then make sure you give us a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified. See you in the next video.